moment, uh, Grant, and nice to meet you, by the way. Sir. Likewise. Look, um, you are the ranking, uh, as we just discussed off air, the ranking British politician here in terms of seniority in the British government. Why is it that the Prime Minister isn't here when business and growth is so important to your government? Yeah, I mean, you could ask the same question of uh, Macron or Biden or anyone else. This is a, this is a, a Davos is about business, right? And I am the business secretary. Yeah. I am the person whose job it is to make sure that we have uh, businesses uh, you know, investing in the UK. And by the way, I saw PwC said this week we're one of the three hottest investment locations in the world that bosses want to invest in. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm here to make sure that you know, we are open to the rest of the world and that we can invest elsewhere. So I'm exactly the right person to be yeah. at Davos to bring the jobs home. Yeah, but I mean, well, I, I, I'll just push it a bit further, if I may, because I, I speak to Prime Minister Rutte every year. I spoke to Theresa May here. I speak to the Taoiseach. I just spoke to uh, Pedro Sanchez the other day. I spoke to President Duda, our opponent. I, I still think this event with the, the, the importance of business for the UK, and it's front and centre in a post-Brexit world, I appreciate your seniority, mm. sir, and your expertise. Expertise, but having the Prime Minister here as well would add extra gravitas to the British plans. Look, I'm not saying the Prime Minister's never going to attend Davos again. He may well come uh, another year. But right now, you know, in the midst of the energy crisis caused by Ukraine uh, being invaded by Putin, uh, with all of the trauma that we've gone through with uh, COVID and much else, you know, he is at home focusing as a brand new Prime Minister, by the yeah. way, two, three months into the job, on the domestic priorities. I'm here because I'm actually, technically, if you like, the right person to have in Davos. And, and I'm flying the flag for Britain. I've been saying that to the Chamber of British uh, Commons today at, at the luncheon. Uh, so, you know, lots of very great meetings here, but not every world leader comes to Davos. And 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 so you're exactly the right person to ask why Sir James Dyson is really fed up with this British government at the moment. You'd have read his comments in The Telegraph. I'll just paraphrase them for our audience. Uh, the British government at the moment is stupid and short-sighted. Uh, the approach to the economy and business in the UK, uh, growth has become a dirty word, imposing tax upon tax on companies in the belief that penalising the private sector is a free win at the ballot box. He goes on. He's very upset and he's one of our greatest entrepreneurs. He's, he's a great entrepreneur. I do like him, actually, but he's also wrong. Uh, he's not here at he's, Davos. He's wrong about 25% tax rate from 19%. He's, well, hold on a second. He's wrong about what he's giving, saying about the overall climate of business. At the CBI lunch that I just addressed, mm. my uh, speech was literally about growth. Yeah. To say that the British uh, economy, the British government isn't interested in growth is exactly the opposite to the thing that I set out at lunch based on Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, saying at his turn of the year speech, with his five priorities, growth is right up there. So actually, um, that we really care about growth. Um, we have, and I think this is what Sir James is getting at, we have in our manifesto, we said we want to make sure that in this modern world, uh, people are able to get on with work, work hard, increase productivity, and that sometimes you do that by giving people some flexibility. And we've actually allowed a number of uh, uh, bills to, to passage through, through Parliament, which don't put any additional requirement on the businesses, but it does raise the subject. So in other words, it, it, it provides a position where the employee can say, actually, would this work with you? And they, they generally go to that, to that, to that extent. Uh, and I think that's sensible. I'm probably the first business secretary who was in business. I started a printing company 32 years ago uh, to have had this role, I think, since Michael Heseltine back mm -hmm. in the day. Um, so I'm very aware of not overloading business with different uh, rules and regulations. And I'll carry on making sure that we are one of the best places in the world to invest, which is why, by the way, we, we attract more investment. And